What's good, what's up, and what's happening, Blaze family? You are now tuning in to a Blaze Mind Science Center video with me, Madison Averhart. And today, guys, I will be explaining how exactly the Amlight software works on the computer. I'll also show you how to use a photo booth, and I'll also show you how to use your own phone camera um, when looking at your microscope. So, I am out here um, collecting some specimen for you guys to view on the microscope. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So we just drew that from the, like, not, it's not algae on the surface, so. Hi guys. So next, we're going to be pulling some of this green looking algae right here. Um, it looks like vomit, but we're going to collect some. And hopefully, I don't fall in, because I just fell in right here. Like, I, I just fell in. some all right on to the next one we have we're, th we're choosing three so we got the clear water the algae and then we're just gonna pick a random spot somewhere okay guys so this area looks a lot like soot it, it looks a lot like soot so we're gonna draw some of that. I'm gonna clean this out just a little bit. Collect this, I guess, right here. So I'm gonna show you all three tubes. So this one was where we got over there. It almost looks drinkable. Then we also have the algae that factors in, and we also have the soot that came from right there. I, I feel like I need to get some more soot in there, so give me a second. I'm gonna get dirty again. Okay. It's in my socks, God damn it. It's all good, okay. I'm gonna rinse this off for you so you don't have to touch it. When I get home, I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get right on into the specimens, observing them under the microscope. When I get home, we're gonna observe. Okay, so when you're about to go in with your phone, make sure your flash is off. And as you can see in this lens, there are two circles, one big, one small. You want to focus on the biggest circle and then you just want to kind of zoom in. And then once you hit it, you just kind of want to relax your hand and just let it focus in. And sometimes it can be hard because you know you don't have a steady hand but just try to relax. Hey guys, so before we begin this experiment, I did not have any pipettes, but I did have a few of these things. So what I did was I just transferred the material from what was in the tube into here. Um, so it would be easier for me to extract the material and put it on the slide. So that's why you see these instead of a pipette, just you know, to clear that up.
Hey guys, okay, so we just finished examining three samples of pond water. Our first sample was the no soot, no algae. Our second sample was the algae, and the third sample was the soot. So overall, we observed that the no soot, no algae water definitely does not have as many microorganisms as the algae and the soot. The algae holds a lot more things that are more disgusting and deadly to all of us number one the flea that was absolutely disgusting and not only that we saw little small things of blood in that in that um observation and then we also saw in the soot a lot more microorganisms than we saw in the algae and in the no soot no algae water samples which is actually quite cool it's very like eye-opening to say hey you know don't please don't drink that don't don't you dare drink that okay so number one if you do drink from the pond drink in an area that does not have uh the soot or the algae but please purify and filter the water before you drink it because there are still organisms living in that water there are fish that still live in that water so definitely filter and purify that water before you drink it. Now, if you drink it, that's on you and whatever happens, you know, I'm sorry, that, but I told you to purify it and I told you to filter it. So that's on you. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. So I'm a little frustrated simply because my camera is no longer connecting to the Amlight software, nor is it connecting to Photo Booth. I've been trying this for the past couple days now. That's why it's taken this video so long to get up, number one. Um, number two, it, it's really kind of pissing me off on the slick um, just because it's like, why why would I buy a camera, you know, and then it just, start, it just, it just goes out after a few months. But it could be that the cord, you know, has a shortage in it or something and I just need to get a new cord so I'll deal with that later however in this video guys in the pond water specifically with the algae and the soot y'all did see a whole lot of diatoms that were in that video which is quite amazing so you know it is microorganisms you know that are classified as diatoms so I hope that you found this video beneficial to you all I hope that you know viewing with your phone camera helps a lot so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and you want to say bye e? Goodbye. <laughs> and yeah so y'all stay beautiful stay blessed and stay blazed Blaze. for christ i love you guys peace shalom